Hello everyone and welcome to the Roxy sew along. In this version of the Roxy we're going to sew a neckband and we're going to sew the pocket on. So to get started I'm going to cut my fabric out with my projector and I have to calibrate it so I have my one inch grid turned on and I'm just going to match it up to my 24 by 36 inch cutting mat. So that looks good. I'm going to turn off the one inch grid and I'm going to turn the size on for the size I'm making. Okay, so first off I need my fabric and for this pattern we need knit fabric. I'm going to use rib knit for my uh, neckband and for my pocket bands. That is a cotton lycra blend. I'm going to use this funky knit, I don't know what it is, um, for my pocket. And then I'm going to use a cotton lycra jersey knit for my sleeves and my front and my back piece. So. Um, let's cut this out. So this piece here, you'll see this line right there, okay? This is my back. I'm going to make a little notch in my seam allowance so that I can remember that this is the back. Another way to tell it's the back is that this has a higher neckline than the front piece, but I'm just going to make a little clip into the seam allowance, not through the seam allowance, right here. Okay, so on the sleeve, also same line, that means it's going to be the back part of the sleeve. So I'm gonna just cut a little notch into the seam allowance. Okay, so our pieces are cut out. Here are the required pieces that we need to make a Roxy with a neckband and a pocket. So we have our front, our back, our two sleeves that are mirrored. So this means this is the back here and this is the back here. So if they weren't mirrored, the back would be here and then the back would be here, but they are mirrored, which is what we want. So the back is here and the back is here. We have one pocket, two pocket bands, one, two, and one neck band. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna get this pocket assembled because I need to get the pocket onto the front of the shirt before I can assemble the shirt. So this is my pocket. This is the top of my pocket. This is where my bands are gonna be sewn. So here's my band. And I just need to fold this in half, and you really should press it. Um, so you would press it, and then you would clip it to your band curve here.
Okay, so with them in place, we're gonna take it over to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew them on. All right, so I'm going to sew my band onto my pocket. I'm just gonna stretch the pocket band as I sew. Okay, I got my bands on. I clipped my tails off. I'm going to press it now. I'm just gonna press that seam in. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to fold the top, the sides, and the bottom down. Okay, now I'm gonna fold this in half. And I'm going to take my front. You know it's my front because it's got that writing on it, plus the neckline, a bit lower than the back. I'm just going to press it. So pressing just means up and down on the iron. I'm pushing it up and around. Okay. So we want to line this up. I want it two and a half inches above here. Okay, because I still have to hem this after I get the pocket sewn on. I'm going to line it up right there. Okay, so it's pinned in place. I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine. I'm gonna sew it from here to here. That's it, don't forget to backstitch. And then starting from here all the way to the corner and around to this corner, pivot and up. Don't forget to backstitch here and here, okay? I'm gonna try to keep my stitch line about an eighth inch away from this folded edge here, here, and here. Okay, so I'm going to sew my pocket on. I'm doing this top part right here. I'm going to hold my tails as a start. Uh, I can find where they went. And I'm going to backstitch. Okay. And since I'm over here, I'm gonna take my neckband, I'm gonna fold it in half, right sides together. You can't really tell on rib knit. So pocket sewn on. Next step is to sew our sleeves on. So this is the front of my shirt. I'm just going to line up the front side of my sleeve with the front of my shirt. And I know which one is which because I marked the back of my sleeve. I clipped into it. You could also use like fabric chalk. You could put a pin in it. Something that tells you this is the back so that you don't accidentally sew the back of the sleeve to the front of the shirt okay so i'm just going to lay these right sides together and i'm going to clip them in place now i'm going to take it over to my sewing machine and i'm going to sew from here up to here okay so this is the First sleeve being sewn to the front. Okay, front is sewn. Here's my seam. I'm just gonna unfold it, get it out of the way. Okay, now the next sleeve. So the next sleeve, I don't have to really worry too much about sewing the back to the front because it's gotta go right sides together. The right side means the side with the picture. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna go back to this sewing machine and I'm gonna sew from here up to here. Okay, sewing the second sleeve on. Okay, so the back of the sleeve has been sewn on. What do we do now? Well, now we have to sew the back of the shirt on. So let's unfold this sleeve. And grab the back shirt. Here we go. So it's the same thing. Here is the front. This is the right side of the back. I'm just going to line up these pieces with the sleeve, okay? And it's gotta be right sides together. So this is the back of my shirt. This is my sleeve. Right sides together. Oops, I didn't put that well. Now we're gonna go back to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew the back of the shirt to the back half of the sleeve. So this is sewing the back of the sleeve to the back of the shirt. All right, back of the shirt, sew into the back part of the sleeve. I need to take this side here and sew it to that side of the sleeve over there. So I'm just going to bring it over here. My sleeve, it's right side up. I'm gonna find that curve. There it is, it's got my clip in. Now I'm gonna sew from here to here. All right, this is the last uh, seam for the sleeves. Okay, so there's that seam. That's the last one. I'm gonna unfold this to show you what it looks like. Okay, so back of the shirt, sleeves, front of the shirt. Next step, we want to sew the side seam. So we're gonna fold it in half, so front to back. We're gonna line up these side seams here and there, and we're gonna take it to the machine. We're gonna sew starting here, all the way down to this seam, and then all the way down to the hem. We'll repeat on the other side also. Okay, so we're gonna sew the side seams. This is the bottom of my sleeve. Okay, so we got our side seam sewn and now with our shirt uh, still inside out, we're going to fold our hems up and then sew them. All right, let's head over to the cover stitch machine and sew our hems. All right, so I'm going to cover stitch my hem. Uh, I'm using a Janome 900 CPX. Uh, I have just regular um, thread loaded. Nothing, nothing special. I like to start at the back just in case I screw up. Shim, just in case I need it. Those are for humps, humps, bumps, and humps. So how you would use the shim when you'd get to like a hump here. That's my seam, so it's a hump. You get close, needles down. You can roll them down if you don't end in the down position. And then the shim goes behind it and kind of helps you to get over the hump. All right, so last and final step is to sew the neckband on. So earlier I sewed my neckband into a loop and now I've turned it wrong sides together, so seam together, I've pressed it, and then I have marked 
the side opposite of the seam. So here's my seam and I can actually adjust that a little more. Here is the side opposite of my seam. So when I pin this to my shirt, the seam goes in the back, the smart goes in the front. Now, where is that exactly on the shirt? So to find that, we fold the shirt in half and it's a little bit more difficult because we have four seams here. So make sure you line that back seam up and then you line those front seams up, front of the sleeve seams. And that'll get you folded in half and you'll be able to find center front, center back, okay? So as long as your seams match up, you're good to go. So I'm going to mark with a pin because the pin is more precise. Now I'm going to open my shirt up. Okay, so if I, let's see. So I want to pin this to the right side of my shirt. Actually, I'm going to close it. So, I'm going to do my front pieces. So, front neck band to the front here. Okay. Now, I'm going to clip the back of my neck band to my back center line mark right here. Okay, now I'm gonna take it over to my sewing machine. I'm gonna use my serger and I'm gonna serge it all the way around. If you don't have a serger, you absolutely have to use a stretch stitch on this. If you baste this in place, you need to make sure to remove those basting stitches because they prevent stretching, okay? So let's go over to the sewing machine. Okay, sewing the neck band on, so. I'm going to sew in the round, which means my foot is going to be inside of this. It's much easier to sew it this way, for me, anyways. Just trying to get all these uh, raw edges lined up the best I can with having a camera in between me and the sewing machine. So I'm gonna try to get it lined up where that uh, seam is, you know. I want to start there. I want to get a couple stitches in and then I want to stretch my neck band. Okay. Now I'm just going to stretch it. See, not too much just to just to match the neckline, okay? So when I sew, this seam needs to go down like this and then this seam goes in. So these the the sleeve seams need to be facing each other. That's the goal anyways. Okay, neck band is sewn on. I'm just gonna unfold it here. Now, what you could do if you're feeling ambitious is you can top stitch it. Remember, if you top stitch it, you also have to use a stretch stitch because a straight stitch is gonna limit how much this neck band can stretch. So, a zigzag or some other stretchy stitch. Remember, if you use a zigzag, don't make it too wide or too long, right? Because then it's pretty much a straight stitch at that point, okay? And yeah, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, sew along. If you did, please subscribe and I will sew with you next time. See y'all later. Bye.